Well, if you're watching this video, you can probably guess this is a power supply to a Nintendo 64. Now, when I got this, I was told that it was not working. And all the rattle's gone. But something was rattling around on the inside, so my interest was to pull it apart. And yes, this is an Australian one. I'm in Australia, so that kind of makes sense. So to begin with, I'm going to be using the correct screwdriver, which is not this one. I'll be using the correct screwdriver, which is this one. I don't know about you, but I love the sound of that crack. I also have to wonder the horsepower of the drill. And of course, someone calls it, I don't want it to speak to, so fun. Yeah, probably a good idea if you don't actually do that. Okay. Let's try not to do this casually then. See, this is what I don't like about a throwaway society. Everything always has to be so difficult. Hmm. Okay, there goes that. See, I don't know about you, but if that's meant to be a spark gap, that's probably a little too far apart. Okay, so on first examination, I don't see anything that looks like it's gone boom, which is a good thing. I do, however, see a ceramic fuse. And that thing that was rattling around in there seemed to have just been a bit of plastic, so... I don't know. What have we got on the screen? Yep. It's a bit irritating, you have to check the monitor. See, the thing is, I probably should know what I'm doing. So I really don't. Half a volt. I'm gonna guess that that bridge rectifier is working. So, huh. Looks like it can come out. So why isn't this working then? So I've got two fuses on this output. Let's measure this capacitor. No, I'm not going to check if it's got connectivity. I'm going to check to see if there's any voltage on it. And 
now I'm going to do something completely random. Okay, so all those seem to be connected. We should be able to go from here to So I'm trying to work out how this works exactly. Well, the capacitors don't look like they've gone boom. Can I measure the capacitance without having them connected? Without disconnecting them, sorry. Probably don't want to hook it up that way. Negative to negative, positive to positive. 44, zero, zero. 47 So what about this capacitor? It's output electrolytic So this here is negative, this here is positive This is what I find weird. There is R203 and R206 are just link wires. Hmm. So I suppose the question is what happens when I plug it in? DC volts. Uh, if I look at this, so this should be ground. Afraid of doing that. All right, let's see if I'm getting anything on the mains. Got to remember this is live, so the wires come through here. Two hundred and thirty volts. No, that's definitely live. It's probably going to be a little bit more complicated than I was hoping. So are these capacitors? No.
I heard a click sound. It was bizarre. Now, if I remember correctly, this should be a diode. Should be able to measure them like a diode. Wow, there is really not much light today. So that thing at the end that I should be testing, it should be two diodes slammed together. I don't know how to call that, but by the looks of it, it's an MA10799. So the diodes should be facing towards the center. Okay. So that particular, yep. See, I'm not sure that's right, but let's move on. So what's this thing down at the corner here? Similar kind of component, but different sort of labeling. Okay, let's see how that one turns out. And I think I will put my light on actually. How's that? Um, this one. So, I mean, one thing I heard about these is this capacitors usually sort of go, but. I don't see where the capacitors could have blown. Anyway, I think I might try to plug it back in again, in again and try to poke that bridge rectifier. See what I get. So that's definitely not the one that I want, but this one is. some more dangerous stuff. So negative is here and positive is here. Three hundred and twenty eight point four volts. the output's not outputting so unplug Let's try to get the score again. So these three should be ground. Connectivity.
yeah, I'm just doing random stuff here, so. See, to me that doesn't seem right. That should mean it's still isolated. So both sides are isolated. Well, I can try to fire this thing up again. Because I have a better idea about what I'm dealing with, I'll secure that. Turn this back on. So, those three are ground. So I can confirm this should be working. What about this capacitor? Is this capacitor charging up? Three hundred and thirty volts. So it's a 400 volt capacitor, so that's fine. So the capacitor is definitely getting stuff. Um, what are you hidden in there? A K2700 and below it is L6. Kind of funny if it's something wrong with this board. I hate to think of the idea about removing it though. I mean, yeesh. All right, so tell you what, let's go back a bit. Let's take a look at these two fuses. So one, two, three, four. Now, can I tell where the ground is? No, that shouldn't matter. What should matter though is they sit there comfortably. I turn this back on. Okay, so there's no voltage on those fuses. Let's test this capacitor. This one here. So negative is towards this. Double check. Negative is here, positive is here. So negative, positive. Right. <sighs> negative, positive. Negative. So that capacitor doesn't appear to be charging up. Okay.
So where is the voltage regulation coming from? I mean... There's a six-legged IC, SMD, 393 at the top, and at the bottom it's P648. Alright, so I can tell that right now there is no voltage here. That giant blob of solder is for the heatsink. N4219. No idea what that is. Zener diode. Hmm. Pots. So there's one, two, and three. So a good question would be, where is ground plane? So I can tell this. Okay. So if this is a ground plane. So this capacitor here, does that touch into anything? So there's a ground plane to this one here. So yeah, the light here has gone really bad. Okay. I don't know why, but for some reason it's gone really overcast. Well, since I've been able to pull this apart, uh, is this going to be visible on the screen? Now it is. That's visible. So yeah, um, I am going to see if I can track down any information, any more information about this and see, hopefully, I'm correct in assuming, I should be able to test that. So what do we got on this? Well this is only outputting 3.3 .3 and 12 volts, so two different voltages. Now I know that's not a, pretty sure that's not a voltage regulator, pretty sure that's not a voltage regulator. So that must be occurring on here. Or oh, these are the actual voltage regulators. So where's the ground panel? 
So if I go, if I use this capacitor as reference, so ground is here. So switch to capacitance. So if I can guarantee that's a ground panel, let's trace it. So it goes down through here, right along to here. So what I should be able to do is go to connectivity and the positive side so hmm now this is interesting, might be able to trace this out. So I know these three here are going to be ground. So, wow, okay, um, these outputs look like they're being directly driven by these potentiometers, these pots. So if I trace it back. Yeah, skip over here. So that would mean this is no, that's not gonna be ground. ground yeah, well, I still got a feeling it's this board here that's giving me the trouble okay let's go over this again so there and there, so, ground, ground, ground.
So what about the 12 volt rail? 12 volt rail goes there, doesn't go there, doesn't go there. So the 12 volt rail jumps over to here. Flies back to this one. Am I right? Twelve volt. Twelve volt. Twelve volt. Twelve volt. Twelve volt. So it goes over the L. 207, 201, sorry. I need to start drawing this out. Ah, oh, where's the pen? Here we go. Good old black. So we got three to start off with. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so let's trace the 12 volt one again. So, 12 volt, there to there, 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 there. There, there. Nothing there, but it's there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Twelve volt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's try to trace the two three point three volt lines. So they're there, there and there. Three point three, three point three, three point three. <laughs> Third. So one, two, three. Yeah, we should see three point three volts. So I'm not seeing any resistance with that. All right, so we've also got 3.3 volts there. Now I know that this is ground. 
So this is G and D. And just to be double sure about that, ground, ground. Okie dokie. So I've been able to pin out, so what about pin 12? Not pin 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. Those two aren't linked for that. Scoops around over to here. Correct? One, two, three, four. So four is the XT. You go to here. Ooh, that's an electrolytic. So that's another external cap. Okay, so now that I know that those do that, um, let's try to be smart again. Yes, let's try very hard. We are now live, this is live, this is dangerous. So, if I'm correct, ground is here. And then the next one up should be 3.3 .3 volts. Probably best to make sure I said that to voltage and not resistance. I'm getting no voltage. So the next one should be 3.3 .3 as well. And I'm getting no voltage. This is exit. And that should be 12. But I'm not getting anything. Hmm. Okay. So... you off for a minute. Turn this off and now start pondering. I need to look up these components. So now comes the investigation part again. I unplug power, remove this and I start shouting them out again. So we've got an MA So I don't see any discoloration, sorry, with the with this giant ass coil. So MA107. So MA107 99. And then We have FCH. One D. I can't make that out. But we've also got N 
4219 So that's wrong Really I would like to see what that And then what's separate on here is this 393 393 P648 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 Okay, so I'm going to call this video it for now, and I'm going to try to look at this again, hopefully a little later on. Um, as for trying to fix what's wrong with this, my guess is going to be it's this board here. be funny if it's the actual that um, P648 is some kind of voltage regulator and that's not working but it will be interesting to find out anyway in the meantime I'm going to close this back up put these screws back in Now, again, I'm going to look online to see if I can find any kind of schematic that someone else has done and they've kindly posted online or what these components are. And I mean, really, I should probably try drawing out the schematic. I see a lot of people do it. I hear a lot of people in real life tell me that I should do it. But for me, it's more of a not something I'm done, something I find difficult to follow and something I really should learn if I want to keep doing this kind of stuff. Uh, fidgety. Okay. I will have to leave this here and get this video uploaded while doing this research. Anyway, off to Google.